He is a Canadian rapper, singer, songwriter, actor, and entrepreneur who has outsold all the classic greats, including Tupac, Jay-Z, and Eminem. Jay-Z labeled him as the Kobe Bryant of hip-hop. Audrey Drake Graham was born on October the 24th, 1986, in Toronto, Canada. Drake was raised by his biracial parents, who divorced when he was five. His father, Dennis Graham, is a Catholic African-American, and his mother, Sandra, is a white Jewish Canadian. He grew up very poor, and it was not until he was in sixth grade that he moved to the affluent and predominantly Jewish area of Forest Hill in Toronto. Drake speaks proudly of his Jewish heritage. He attended a Jewish day school as a child, observed the high holidays, and even had a bar mitzvah at the age of 13. He told Hebe magazine in 2010 that when he was growing up, nobody understood what it was like to be black and Jewish. Being different from everyone else just made me a lot stronger. Drake grew up with music in his blood. His father was a drummer for the legendary rock and roll star Jerry Lee Lewis. While attending school at Forest Hill, one of Drake's classmates, whose father was an agent, gave him a start in the entertainment industry. Drake was 14 years old. He had Drake audition for a role on the Canadian teen drama series Degrassi, The Next Generation. Drake played the part of Jimmy Brooks, a basketball star who becomes predominantly wheelchair-bound. Drake starred on that show for seven years, earning a Young Artist Award in 2002. While on the show, he began attempting to cross over to the world of hip-hop and released two mixtapes. Through his connection to Jazz Prince, the son of rap -a -lot founder Jay Prince, Drake got his music to rap superstar Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was impressed and immediately asked Drake to join his I Am Music tour. Drake's association with Lil Wayne and his Young Money label helped build anticipation for his third mixtape, So Far Gone, 2009. The song Best I Ever Had topped Billboard's R&B, Hip Hop, and Hot Rap Songs chart. It reached number two on the Hot 100 chart, becoming a hit single. The success sparked a bidding war among major record labels that resulted in a deal with Aspire slash Young Money slash Cash Money Records with distribution through Universal. Drake received a $2 million advance and retained all publishing rights to his songs and agreed to surrender only 25% of sales revenues to the label as distribution fee. Drake then began to collaborate with a number of high-profile R&B and rap artists, including Mary J. Blige, Alicia Keys, and Timberland. He also appeared on Forever, a song featuring the prominent artists Kanye West, Lil Wayne, and Eminem for the LeBron James documentary. Drake eventually signed a record deal with Young Money slash Universal and released an EP retail version of the previously free So Far Gone, which earned him Juno Awards for Rap Recording and New Artist of the Year. His debut LP, Thank Me Later, sold 447,000 copies in the US in its first week of release. It was certified platinum in Canada and double platinum in the US. The album would go on to sell 1.83 million copies in the US. His second album, Take Care, released in 2010, also debuted as number one in the US Billboard 200. It was certified platinum in the US, UK, and Canada. Nothing was the same. His third studio album, released in 2013, also received both critical acclaim and commercial success. The Platinum Album was named Best Album of the Year by multiple magazines. Just six days after dropping the album, the NBA basketball team of Toronto Raptors named Drake a global ambassador. He has been affiliated with the team ever since and sits courtside at home games. In 2014, he hosted the ESPYs Awards, and he was absolutely hilarious. His opening monologue was, I'm excited to be here, 
So many athletes in the house, so many people that I respect, so many of you that I admire, so many people that I would trade my life to be. I love all of you until you start losing, then you're dead to me. I stick with the champions. His fourth mixtape, if you are reading this it's too late, was released in 2015. The 17 track mixtape quickly went platinum. It sold 1 million copies in the first six months. Later that year, he released Hotline Bling, R&B Slow Jam, which became his highest charting solo single. In 2006, his number one hit Work with Rihanna conquered the radio like no other. Drake continued his success by releasing more mixtapes and viral hits with record-setting achievements. His 2017 mixtape More Life, his 2018 album Scorpion, and his 2020 mixtape Dark Lane Demo Tapes and Certified Loverboy established Drake as a world-famous artist who always strives to surprise his listeners. Drake's success far surpasses the realms of rap. He was Spotify's most streamed artist of the decade with more than 28 billion streams. He was the first artist on Apple Music to surpass 10 billion streams. He has won a lot of prestigious accolades, including four Grammy Awards, 27 Billboard Music Awards, six American Music Awards, and three Juno Awards. He depicted himself with a tattoo, which is waving at the Beatles to celebrate beating their record of having more top 10 hits and more singles in the top 10 than them. Drake proved to be a savvy businessman. His entrepreneurship career includes being one of the founders of Ovo Sound Record Label, which also coincides with his clothing label called October's Very Own. Ovo sells everything from monogrammed hoodies to owl tees and had more than $50 million in sales in 2019. Ovo Records hosts an annual music festival in Toronto. Drake has lucrative deals with Sprite, Apple, and Nike. He has an equity stake in Virginia Black Whiskey. Drake's influence on rap music and popular culture cannot be underestimated. He is often in the headlines, whether it is for releasing an album, signing a deal, introducing business ventures, feuding with someone, or dating a celebrity like Rihanna, JLo, or Nicki Minaj. Drake has a son named Adonis, born in October 2017, with the French model and artist Sophie Brousseau. According to Forbes, Drake's net worth is estimated at $180 million in 2020. He is also known for his lavish lifestyle and spending habits. He resides in a 50,000 square foot mansion called Drake Manor in Toronto, featuring a basketball court and a black granite pool. He also owns another mansion in the Hidden Hills, California, called the YOLO Estate. He has an impressive luxury car collection, including Rolls-Royce, McLaren, and Bentley. He spends money on an extensive Birkin collection and has an impressive Rolex collection. His diamond collection includes a 22-carat heart-shaped ring in platinum that he bought as a birthday gift for himself for $500,000. Let's not forget his new private jet, Air Drake, a custom Boeing 767 valued at $181.5 million. The jet's interior is exquisitely custom, designed by the Louis Vuitton designer Virgil Abloh. He has said on the record many times that he is addicted to success and wants to be number one. Here are a few of Drake's memorable quotes and lyrics. You know it's real when you are who you think you are. Always felt like my vision was bigger than the bigger picture. Count your blessings, not problems. I am trying to do better than good enough. A goal is just a dream with a deadline. When writing the story of your life, don't let anyone else hold the pen. It's never too late to realize what you want in your life and it's never wrong to fight for it. Kill them with success and bury them with a smile. Please comment, like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos.